stopping by my channel. My name is Shiloh and I'm a cross stitcher and knitter living in Nova Scotia, Canada. You can find me on Instagram as at xstitchmd and on Ravelry as at Dr. Shiloh. Uh, links to everything I talk about today will be in the description box below in case you get enabled and need to work on some of the projects I'm working on. So it's been a couple weeks since my last video, so thanks for coming back. <laughs> um, the giveaway from last video for the Timber Yarns, I drew the winner for that and she has contacted me and that will be getting mailed out shortly. Uh, thanks so much to everyone who entered, it was really fun reading everyone's comments and the creative way you included the word Timber <laughs> into your comments. Um, I have another giveaway for today with some fabrics from Dove Stitch, so be on the lookout for that later on in this episode. Uh, long time viewers may notice I look slightly different today. I'm not wearing my glasses. And that's because I've noticed over the past few videos, I've had a lot of glare on my glasses. So I decided let's try without because that glare was really bothering me when I was editing my videos. So I just decided let's change things up. <laughs> All right. So um, I do have a lot of stuff to share. Um, over the past few weeks, I have been doing a lot of stitching and knitting. Um, so yeah, let's dive right in. Um, the first thing I want to show is a couple of sock finishes. Um, so I finished two socks since my last video. So I'm feeling pretty fancy today because I got these sock blockers <laughs> from uh, Little Red Mitten, which is a local yarn store in St. Thomas, Ontario. And they are also the dyers behind Leo and Roxy yarn. So I ordered these from them um, just so that I can show my socks slightly more fancy. So let's put the first sock on the blocker. So this pair of socks, I can't remember if I showed it before, but uh, this pair of socks I'm knitting from a really beautiful yarn from Brian Dye Works. Um, and I'll show you the yarn first. So this is um, a one of a kind colorway and it's um, called a pickle. So what she does for her pickles is she uses all her leftover dyes and puts them in a jar and puts the yarn in it. And she calls them pickles, which I think is so fun. And this is such a pretty turquoisey blue yarn. So here's my first one complete. So I think it turned out so cute with a little kind of striping in it. Uh, this sock is actually for my boyfriend's stepmom. So she always loves looking at my socks whenever I go over to their place. And so I told her I would make her a pair. And her favorite color is blue. So I thought this yarn would be perfect. So I finished the first one and I've gotten a pretty good start on the second. I am finished the leg and I've put in the heel. And I'm just starting to uh, do my gusset decreases. So yeah, so hopefully I can get these done in the next week or so and give those to her. I really love how this colorway knit up though. It's got like these little stripes and the speckles. It's so pretty. Love these. And I think I have quite a bit of yarn left. This is a 100 gram skein and usually when I'm knitting socks for myself I use a 50 gram skein. Her feet are slightly bigger than mine so I used a 100 gram skein but I feel like I might have enough left over to make a pair of shorty socks for myself. So that's exciting. All right so that is that pair. Uh, the second sock I finished was a pair I'm making for myself and let me just get this out here. This is from Area 51 Fibers, who is a Canadian yarn, yarn dyer who has gorgeous sock yarn. And I should have prepared before to put these on the blockers. It's kind of tricky. <laughs> All right, so I have my first sock complete. Now let's see. Oh, oh, this looks so cute. Here it is. So this colorway is so pretty. So it's a four stripe repeat and I love the speckles and the black, it was so fun. This colorway is called Let's Go to the Mall and I used a mini skein from Crux Fibers, who's a dyer in the Yukon, which is super cool. Um, and this was just, it came as a, like a five skein mini skein kit and it was called like Tropical Colors or Toucan or something like that. So I used that blue, which I thought coordinated nicely with this. And I did my regular sock. So I linked in the description box below the sock pattern I use. It's just a basic sock pattern. And the way I do my self-striping yarn is I buy a 50 gram skein. Uh, Area 51 Fibers uh, sells their sock yarn in 50 gram skeins and 100 gram skeins. And I get a 50 gram skein. I do 15 rounds of ribbing with a coordinating mini skein for the cuff. I do 10 stripes. Each stripe is about five rounds. So that's about 50 rounds for the leg. Then I do a slip stitch heel flapping gusset with the contrasting mini. And then I do 15 stripes for the foot. So 15 times five is 75. 
yes <laughs> 75 rounds for the foot and then i do my toe so this is all the the decreases with my contrast skein and if i do it that way i can get a pair of socks using a 50 gram skein and a 20 gram mini skein which is quite is much more economical which is awesome so i finished that one and for my second sock i got a lot of needles going on here <laughs> i've finished the leg and i have put in the heel and i've turned the heel and i just need to now join my uh working color yarn so yeah so i have like almost two full pairs finished here which is very exciting so you can see um well, i guess i took the other one off the blocker this is a bit shorter of a leg than i did for the socks for my boyfriend's stepmom i like this length it hits me about you know just above the ankle but not much above the ankle and that's kind of the length i like and also i like saving money by getting 50 gram skeins <laughs> Okay, so that is my sock knitting. Let's go over to what I've been stitching. Over the past three weeks, I've worked on four different stitching projects and I've made quite a bit of progress on each of them, which is very exciting. Uh, the first one I'm gonna show you is the 2021 Modern Folk Embroidery Stitch Along and it's called The Fruit of Plenty. And I had gotten a bit behind because in March, I hadn't worked on it at all as I was trying to finish up my Sans Souci. Uh, so this month, my goal was to finish March's part and hopefully finish, finish April's. Um, I've completed the first part of that goal. I have finished the March section. And look how pretty it is. This one had a little bit less stitching than the other two months previously, which was nice. I'm stitching this on 36 count Ash Rose Edinburgh Linen. The darker color is DMC 902 and the lighter color is DMC 3722. So that's where it's at so far. Uh, the next part is April's part, which goes here. I am going to get a start on that, hopefully later today. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it within this month, um, but I can at least get a good chunk of it done and that way in May, I can hopefully be all caught up. So really loving how that's coming along and I love the fabric, it's so pretty. All right, the next stitch along that I've been working on, I am woefully behind. Um, part four just released today and I am on part two, but this is the made to create stitch along from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. And Sally from Caterpillar Cross Stitch had very kindly sent me the kit for this, which included this adorable needle minder, which I think I've shown before, but it's worth showing again because it's just so cute. It says made to create. And here's where I am at. So I'm using the called for material and floss, which came in the kit. And it's kind of hard to get exact colors there, but this is just so cute. It's DMC floss on a 32 count uh, light mocha Zweigart linen. I'm using two strands of floss over two. So we got a little camera, a puzzle piece, a button that I still have to fill in the white. Um, this is a pair of scissors. That's so gonna be the letter A, needle and thread, a crochet hook, paint tube, pencil. It's so cute. So we have the letter E, the letter A, um, and the letter R and C are what is also out so far. So it's gonna say the word create. And it's so cute. So really happy with how that's coming along. And it's so fun to use a matching needle minder to a project, I love that. <laughs> okay, my next one is uh, one that was a new start um, on my last video, and this is Everything in White by Durfine Fadden, which I'm probably butchering. And I got this on the Silk Stitching app, uh, which is an awesome app. It is iOS only, unfortunately, but for any of you who have an iPhone or an iPad, you can download this app and it is awesome. I am using this beautiful purple fabric, which is called Purple Pansy from uh, Fabric Flare. Oops. Yeah, and the back of it is white. <laughs> it's uh, a printed fabric, which is beautiful. And I'm stitching this with DMC Ecru and it's on um, 32 count even weave pansy purple, a purple pansy, something like that. And I'm using two strands. And I'm actually really happy with the coverage I'm getting and how my stitches are looking. I think it looks really good. So yeah, I think according to the Silk app, I'm about 38, 38% complete. Look at that cute little owl there. There's just so many fun little motifs. I really like this little train engine here or caboose. I don't know what it is, engine caboose, something like that. Yeah, and it's fun too because the alphabet isn't all in order. It's kind of just all over the place, which makes it really fun to stitch too. So that is my everything in white, or I guess mine could be called everything in ecru. <laughs> okay, and the last project I worked on over the past few weeks was my uh, Bonded by the Rain, which is by Heaven and Earth Designs. The original artist is Leonid Akramov. 
I've made a ton of progress on this. I decided I wanted to start stitching this, um, completing one color at a time. I'm about halfway done, and so I'm like, I'm gonna start trying to color complete just because that sounds like a fun thing to do. So that's what I started doing. So I have all this part is pretty much all filled in solidly. And then starting from here, I started to try to color complete. So I finished all of the DMC 310. Oh my goodness, this just keeps going on, right? So this is it all together. It's a little bit hard to show. I don't know if I can, I'm leaning back as far as I can in my chair. So that's where it looks. And actually from this distance, you can really clearly see the people and the umbrella, which is super fun. Um, and I was really enjoying stitching it this way with doing one color at a time. Um, so I'm gonna kind of stick with that. I worked on DMC 3371 was the next color I was working on. And um, there's a whole bunch of stitches in that color too. So once you have that in, it makes it a lot easier to get the other colors. But I just love how this is turning out. It's so different from anything I've stitched before because I'm usually more of a sampler, monochromatic stitcher, and this is, you know, 87 colors. Um, but I'm really, really enjoying it. And it's just so fun to see the kind of the picture come to life. So I'm really, really liking that. Week, I got an awesome package in the mail from Dove Stitch. They are a sister company of Fabric Flare, and they have been sending me fabrics every once in a while to be able to share some with you and also for me to stitch on. And I've really, really been enjoying getting those packages in the mail because it's so fun to see what goodies are coming. So let me show you what I got in my latest package from them. So the first thing I got was a full yard of their hazy gray. I don't know if it's, oh, here it is. Hazy gray linen so i had gotten a fat quarter of this before and i'm planning on stitching the quaker's pride um sampler from history steak mooster i'll put a picture of that up he right here and this was a stitch along that started april 1st but april fools i haven't started it yet <laughs> um because i realized the fat quarter i had wasn't going to be big enough so they kindly sent me a full yard of 36 count hazy gray which will be more than big enough for this. So I'm excited to start that soon. I'm hoping to start that in the next week or so. So if you haven't joined the stitch along, it's not too late because I haven't started either. <laughs> um, there's lots of really fun uh, progress pictures. If you go on Instagram and search for the hashtag Quakers Pride SAL, you can see everyone's progress on it. And there are some gorgeous ones. Some people, someone I saw was doing it in black and white instead of the gray and red and white. It's beautiful. So I'm really enjoying watching everyone's progress and I'm excited to start that soon. Okay, let's show you the other fabrics they sent me. So this one here, it's really nice because on all of them, um, the name of them is printed on. <laughs> so this is a pale gray gingham, which is an 18 count Ada, and I'm just gonna be like trying to fold it. So it's this really pale gingham, which I think is so pretty. Um, and this is a fat quarter. I believe. So um, what's cool about Dove Stitch Fabrics and Fabric Flare, so you can see it says Fabric Flare on it. Um, they're sister companies, but each company has kind of different um, colorways available. This fabric is printed. So on one side is the pattern and on one side it's just white. And then one thing that's really nice about this is it's uh, much less wasteful in terms of the dyeing process results in a lot of dye that gets like washed down the drain and such. Whereas with um, printing fabric like this, it's just a bit more environmentally friendly, which is just kind of cool. Um, which also means they can print the name of it <laughs> on there, which is handy in case you're like me and constantly forget the name of the fabric you're using. So yeah, it says pale gray gingham, 18 count Ada, <laughs> which is really handy. So this is super pretty. They have all different colors on their website. Uh, this gray is gorgeous. I really, really like it. It's just very subtle and beautiful. So that is that one. This next one is a 32 count even weave and it is creationist purple. And look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness. This to me is screaming. It needs a mirabilia or something like that. It's just so, so pretty. So I'm gonna have to dig through. I'm gonna have to search and find something that would look beautiful on this because it's just such a pretty fabric with all the stars and such. And again, I think this is a fat quarter. So pretty. Honestly, I could just like frame it like this. It's so beautiful. <laughs> so that is um, Creationist Purple, 32 count even weave. Okay, there's a whole bunch more. Some of these are gonna be for you guys too. <laughs> okay, so that's that one. The next one here is 
Dun, 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 dun. So this is 18 count Ada burned love burning love landscape. It's so hard to read backwards. Burning love landscape. And look at that. So you could probably do it either way. Um, but guys, this is cross stitch fabric. Like what? You stitch on this. How cool is that? So you could go this way. You could go this way. Super cool. Super, super cool. And the back is light because it's printed. So that is Burning Love Landscape. Um, next we have a 14 count Ada. This is Shabby Chic Wood in Pink. 14 count Ada. And look at that. So, so cool. This would be so cute to do some kind of like, you know, farmyard, farm chic on. It's really pretty. And again, they have a whole bunch of this one in different colors. So this is the Shabby Chic Wood Pink and they have other colors as well on their website. It'll all be linked down below in case you want some too. Okay, this next one is Scarlet Galaxy, 18 count Ada. Again, super pretty, super, super pretty. I feel like a Mirabilia would look gorgeous on this as well. So lovely. I could just stare at these, like, honestly. <laughs> like, what do you even put on these? They're so beautiful. You don't want to cover up the fabric. Ah. Okay. And last but not least is we have this, uh, I believe it's 14 count Ada banding. So it's got this pretty gold trim on it. And to me, this looks like a 14 count Ada. It could be a 16. I didn't count it. Um, but banding. So it's a nice long piece. And I think it'd be super fun to do like little Christmas ornaments or something on this. Um, you know, you could put a little Christmas ornament on this. The sides are already finished and then you just sew the top and bottom. Super pretty. So thank you so much, Dub Stitch. And I want to pass along some of the love to you guys. So I will have two giveaways. The first one is going to be for the Burning Love Landscape. Along with the um, 14 count or 16 count Ada banding. So these two together, I guess I should flip it so you can actually see it. So these two together will be one of the giveaways. Again, I ship my giveaways anywhere in the world. Um, doesn't matter where you're from, I'll ship it to you. Uh, so in order to enter the giveaway, leave a comment on the video below. And if you wanna be entered for this combination, um, why don't you include the word love, L-O-V-E. And if you include the word love in your comment, I'll know that you're entering for this giveaway. The second giveaway will be for the Shabby Chic Wood 14 count Ada, as well as the 18 count Ada Scarlet Galaxy. So these two together. And if you wanna enter this one, just leave me a comment with the word pink. So you can enter for both, um, that's fine. The random comment picker won't let the same person win, but you can enter for both. Um, and even if you just leave a comment saying pink and love, you're entered, that's fine. Some people like to do creative comments to like include the words in like a fun sentence. That's fun too. I always love reading those comments. Um, so yeah, so feel free to enter and feel free to check out their website on Dubstitch to see more of their gorgeous fabrics. And thank you so much Dubstitch for sending me stuff because it's so fun and I love getting stuff in the mail. <laughs> Last but not least, let's show you some of my other knitting I've been working on. So I've been doing a lot of sock knitting and I've been doing a ton of shawl knitting lately. There's something about shawl knitting that is just like so soothing and relaxing to me and I just love it. So over the past few weeks, I've been working on a lot of shawls just because, I don't know, sometimes you're in the headspace where you just can't settle on one project, you want to work on something else. And for me, like starting a new cross stitch project is kind of a big endeavor because like you need to cut the fabric, you need to get your floss, everything. Whereas starting a new knitting project is just like, you just cast on, it's easy peasy. No ironing required, no cutting, nothing. Just put the yarn on the needles. <laughs> so I've started a few shawls over the past few weeks. Um, the first one I'm gonna show you is one that I had shown on my last video. This is the Hongdae shawl by Wanderlust Fiber Arts. And I've actually made a ton of progress. I'm almost finished this. So the two yarns I'm using, the speckly yarn is Camp Fiber Yarns in the colorway is called Bridges and Fireworks. And the cream colored yarn is Knit Picks Palette. And it is the colorway cream. 
Okay, so this is all bunched up on the needles, so it's kind of hard to show, but I will do my best. So basically all I have left is like two rows and then the bind off. It's an I-cord bind off, so that's gonna take a while, but let me show you my beautiful, beautiful shawl. So this is the top edge. I guess I'll try to hold it this way. So that's the top, and then we have going down these beautiful mosaic stitch patterns. And then look at this, like this section is my favorite. It's like you have this slip stitch motif that goes into then uh, a solid slip stitch motif of this. Like, I just think it's so pretty. So yeah, it's kind of hard to show because it's so gigantic. Um, this side has another slip stitch mosaic technique. And then this, um, this extends all the way across and then you have this and then the bind off is with an I cord in this pink, or sorry, pink <laughs> and this cream. <laughs> I got my head stuck on pink when I was talking about the giveaway. So yeah, it's really hard to show how giant it is. I hope you can see, but it's beautiful. It's so like squishy and lovely and it's gonna be so pretty. So I'll wear it like this and it will be so cozy and wonderful. So yeah, I have absolutely loved knitting on this. Highly recommend it. It's super fun. It looks complicated, but it is not. So mosaic knitting like this, you're only ever using one color per row. You slip all the stitches that are the opposite color. So it's not like color work where you're wrangling two different skeins of yarn in the same row and you have to like carry yarn and use floats and all that stuff. Um, mosaic knitting is, is very easy and I think a beginner could do that without too much trouble. I wouldn't say this is a good first shawl pattern, but maybe like a second or third. Um, again, it's just, it's just so pretty and I just love this section. Like, look how pretty this is. I love it. So yeah, that is my Hongdae shawl. So I should be able to finish it by my next video. I just am mentally preparing myself for the I-cord bind off because I think I have like 507 stitches and the way you do an I-cord bind off is you are knitting three stitches. It's kind of hard to explain, but basically I'm going to be knitting like 900 stitches to bind this thing off. So it's going to take forever, but have to do it if I want to be able to wear this shawl and I want to wear it because it's so pretty. <laughs> okay, the next shawl is a new cast on and this is the Temperance Shawl by Malabrigo, who is a yarn dyer, designer, dyer, designer, I don't know. And I will show you my yarn first. So please excuse the sorry state of my cakes because I wound my yarn cakes way too tight and they popped off and they look funny. But this first color gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color is from Camp Fiber Yarns and it's her 80-20 base. So 80% merino, 20% nylon. And the colorway is called Eros, Eros and Psyche. And this is from her Color of the Month Club. Um, I'm not a part of the club, but I've been ordering some of them. Um, and it's all based on Greek mythology. So this is the colorway uh, for March or February. I can't remember, but it's so pretty. It's like these browns with these speckly colors. It's just gorgeous. I love it, love it, love it. And that's my sad little pokey thingy. <laughs> Um, the next color is from uh, Smash Knits, who is also a Canadian dyer. And again, you can see my yarn balls got slightly <laughs> worse. And this color is called Crunching Leaves. Is it not so, so pretty? Love it. Yeah. I was really like, I think this was like a stressed cat, stress cast on. So when I was winding my yarn on my ball winder, I was like pulling it really tight and that causes it to like pop out. And the last color is from Brian Dye Works. And this colorway is called Nori. And it's so pretty. And yeah, <laughs> it's like it has a belly button. <laughs> but I love this. And this is her, oh, I forgot to say, this is also an 80-20. And this is a 75-25. So 75% merino, 25% nylon. And in my experience, the 75-25 tends to be softer than the 80-20, um, but they're both really nice and squishy. Okay, so here is my shawl. So I've made a bit of progress on it and I'm halfway through a row. I really shouldn't do that. Uh, but I'm loving how these colors are playing together. So these are, this is the um, brown color and the red together and then just transitioning into more of the green. And then now I'm doing a twisted rib. So that part I'm kind of stuck on because it just takes a really long time. But I'm really, really liking this. So it's a, it gradually grows so it's starting kind of narrow and then it's gradually gonna get bigger, bigger, bigger. So yeah, super pretty. And wow, this goes so nicely with the shirt. <laughs> so this is, this is really fun to knit on. I'm really enjoying it. And I just love how these yarn colors go together. See, this is the, the importance of having a large yarn stash is I was like, oh, I like this shawl. Let's go look at my gigantic yarn stash of like 300 skeins to see if I have three that go together. And oh, look, I do. 
I don't think I actually have 300 skeins, maybe 100. I have a lot of yarn, guys. It's, it's a problem. This is the thing when you are a person who has a full-time job, but you have no children, you have disposable income, and I choose to dispose my income on yarn and cross-stitch. <laughs> this last new cast on shawl is called the Sh Shawl. SH, which is really fun to say. And I forget the designer's name off the top of my head, but it'll be in the description box below. I am loving working on this. So here's an example of a beautiful yarn cake that is wound when you're not stressed. See how it's nice and flat and beautiful. <laughs> oh gosh. So this yarn is fantastic. So it is Briggs and Little, a uh, toughy yarn. And this is a very woolly yarn. So if you don't like wool, you're going to hate this. But if you love wool, you're going to love this. It's super cheap too. So a ball is $6 and 40 cents and it's a worsted. Well, it's really an Aran weight. Um, and it's 215 yards and 196, um, meters and 115 grams. I bought the, bought this from the little red mitten, um, online, which is the yarn store I was talking about before. So anyway, uh, this is this gorgeous, like squishy, plushy, heathery yarn. And it's got like flecks of like, I don't know, hay in it. It's very rustic and I love it. So, uh, here's my shawl cast on. I've actually made a ton of progress. I've almost finished my first ball. And I'm using way too short of needles for this, so it's kind of hard to see, but here's the little lacy section. So it's it goes like this. So you start off with a garter triangle and you transition into stockinette with this beautiful lace detail. And again, I'm using this on like a 26 inch needle, so it's way too bunched up and I've actually stopped working on it because I need bigger needles and I ordered a longer needle and it's coming in the mail. But here's this beautiful lace panel that goes down the center. So I think, what do I have here? I have one, two, three of these lace repeats and I need eight of them. So, I mean, it's probably like 30 something inches already, so it's gonna be big, uh, but it's so, so pretty. And I just love how cushy and plush this yarn is. Yes, it's rustic and probably slightly scratchy, but it'll soften up with wash. And like, I'm not sensitive to wool. I can put this like on my face and, you know, I'll probably sneeze a little bit, but it's fine. <laughs> and I just love this color. I think I forgot to mention this color is called Rosewood. It calls for uh, an Aran weight yarn about 600 yards, so I'll have enough with three balls of this, which is what I had ordered. And I actually bought this specifically to make this shawl. Um, so yeah, so that's my sh shawl. And it's, yeah, really hard to see <laughs> all bunched up like this, but it's gonna be beautiful. And this type of yarn is one that really benefits from blocking. So when I block this, it's just gonna like relax and get soft and, I mean, not soft, but softer. And yeah, the lace will all open up. So that's all my knitting. So thanks so much for stopping by this week and checking out my crafting. I hope something you saw today is inspiring you to either pull out an old project or start a new one. Uh, don't forget to enter the giveaway. You can uh, leave me a comment below either with the word love or the word pink and you will be entered. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm in a really giddy mood today. Um, here in Nova Scotia, cases have really escalated. Um, over the past several months, we've been having like, you know, two to five new cases a day of COVID. And over the past week, we've had anywhere from 25 to 50. So things have gone into lockdown, which is really sad because the past few months had felt pretty much like normal life. Um, but I'm really thankful for warm weather and that we can still go out and hike. We're still allowed to get together in gatherings of up to five. So right after this video uploads, I'm going to go for a hike and then I'm going for a barbecue over at my boyfriend's parents' house. So that'll be really nice. So I'm glad we can still, you know, get together in smaller groups, even though restaurants are closed and sports are closed and everything's closed. Um, I started taking tennis lessons um, the past month, which I am loving, but now those are on hold because of COVID. So can be kind of discouraging and I'm sure a lot of you are feeling that at this time. Um, I am encouraged though by seeing so many people starting to get vaccinated, which is awesome. And I hope everyone is staying well, staying safe um, and enjoying, you know, the little break that crafting can give us in this world that is so stressful at times. Um, but I'm feeling really thankful that I live in a place that I'm so close to the ocean and I can go out for hikes and it's just an absolutely beautiful part of the world. And I feel really grateful to be here. Um, I'll put in a couple pictures of some of the hikes I've been on recently. Um, again, like I live like 10 minutes from the ocean, which is amazing. <laughs> Growing up in Ontario, Canada, I did not know how good it could be to live by the ocean and just be able to breathe in that salt air. And yeah, it's, it's amazing. So 
I think that's all I have for this week. I am going to get this video edited and uploaded so I can get out in the outside and enjoy some fresh air. Um, if you are enjoying my channel, please feel free to subscribe. It's so exciting to see so many of you subscribing and liking and commenting, and I appreciate it so, so much. I hope this video has been enjoyable and giving you a little bit of a bright spot in your week. Um, I know I love watching all of your Floss 2 videos and just giving me a moment to just chill out and relax and be happy. So I'll see you in a couple weeks. Uh, take care and happy crafting. Bye.